Hey guys, welcome to this third edition of this Godot Flappy Bird tutorial series where we're going to be creating uh, this Flappy Fish game which is a clone of the original Flappy Bird game. So in this uh, tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a character controller and some obstacles which uh, our fish can dodge. So guys if you haven't uh, joined the channel yet or subscribed Please subscribe now and hit that notification bell to get future updates of any new tutorials or dev vlogs which I'm going to be releasing uh, very soon. So guys, uh, let's uh, quickly now look at how we're going to create this uh, player script. So what we'll do is I'm going to head over to the scripts folder over here and I'm going to right click and go create a new script. So the new script is going to be player.ged which is going to control our player and uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to affect this kinematic body 2d over here so we want to extend kinematic body 2d i'm going to get rid of these uh, comments just to keep it clean and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using physics process in this so we are going to be affecting the physics of our player so the next thing we want to do is we just want to declare a few basic variables. One is uh, speed. Let's set that as 200 initially. We need a gravity of some sort. Uh, it's just going to be fixed for now, 100 gravity. If you want, you can uh, make it a bit more dynamic, add uh, acceleration, etc. But we're just going to have a fixed gravity. And then uh, we're going to have a swim velocity which is going to determine how quickly our uh, fish can swim up and down. So that's going to be 200. And then I'm going to have a velocity variable, which is a vector two. And then what we need to do next is we need to define some way of getting our input. So we'll create a function called get input. And we're then going to check for our mouse button because uh, if you do port this to mobile, the mouse button left is going to be the same as tapping the screen. So we'll just simply do if input is mouse button pressed and button left. And then we're going to apply a velocity to this. So we're going to create a negative velocity of our swim velocity will essentially make our player move upwards and then in our physics process function we need to just go ahead and apply our gravity gravity and then our velocity for our player is already built in because we've got the swim velocity but we need to call get input in order to get our input from our mouse button and then simply we use move and slide to move our player around. Let's go ahead and save that off and uh, on our kinematic body 2D for our player we want to attach the script so I'm just going to go load this up and uh, you're going to see there is going to be a bug now because this animated sprite is not a child of kinematic body 2D so just to show you, I'm going to play this. So nothing is happening. So how you're going to fix that is you're just going to simply drag this down so that whatever is below this kinematic body 2D will be affected by this script. So if we play this, we'll see our fish will be able to swim up and down. So the next thing we need to do now is we need to create some obstacles. Uh, so we've got this um, coral and we've also got this hook which we're going to be using. So in order to get that into our game we need to just go ahead and click on this plus and we're going to use 2D scene over here and I'm going to rename this to obstacle. So the obstacle is going to be made up of uh, a few things. So we're going to first of all go ahead and add a kinematic body 2D. 
and then for that we're going to add an area 2d and for the area 2d we're going to also create some collision as well but uh, for now let's just bring in our sprite so i'm going to bring in our hook as a sprite and we just need to make sure that this is uh under our kinematic body 2d and then simply we're going to click on our hook and we're just going to resize this down so that it makes a lot more sense for our scene and then i'm going to position it Right, let's move it more or less over here, like that. And then what we want to do is we want to just create a, a collision shape 2D. So in order to do that, we need to go over to our kinematic body, area 2D, and then under area 2D, we need to add a collision shape. And then we're just going to use a simple rectangle. So I'm going to create a rectangle over here. And we want to move this over, over to here. And then we want to go and resize it to fit our hook. Bring this down. That's and then just make it a little wider that should be fine and then we want to create another kinematic body 2d again so we're going to replicate this same structure add another area 2d 2d and we're going to add a collision shape 2d Once that is done, we want to bring in one of our corals. So I'm just going to bring in this coral over here and put that below our kinematic body 2D. So again, resize this down, something that makes sense. So I'll just place it over there. So that gives us this little bit of a gap for our player to swim through. I'm going to make it a little larger. And then once again, we need to draw a collision shape, which is also going to be a rectangle. And let's just bring that over here and then resize it to fit our coral. And something like that. Like that, so there we go. All right, so that's going to basically be our obstacle. So I'm going to save this as obstacle.tsen. There's obviously going to be a bit more logic around this uh, so that we can uh, auto generate this for our levels, but uh, that's going to come in the next tutorial video. For now, let's uh, just add this to our scene and then see how that works. So it will look something like this. Let's hit play and see how it looks. So that's, and we should. Right, so that works. The only thing that's not going to work now, of course, is we haven't created logic for the death of the player. Uh, that will also come in the next tutorial video. So guys, that's basically the end of this video. I don't want to uh, make these tutorials too long or too difficult to follow. So I'm going to end it here. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get updates of any more tutorials going forward. Thanks guys. Cheers.